Coach Mays to come up at this time to make some presentations beginning with the Wrestling Coach of the Year. Thank you, Dr. Waddell and Ms. Kyer, Board of Trustees. At different times during the school year uh, in athletics, particularly August with volleyball and cross country and football beginning, and then two or three months later with basketball and wrestling, and then two or three months after that, other uh, January and February and possibly 11 sports beginning. Our office, mine in particular, checks in with our building athletic coordinators both the male and female. And when you check in with the colony, uh, you know, you're just checking personnel just to see how the season's starting out, how those particular coaches are doing. And uh, Rudy Rangel, the coordinator at the colony, will always, if there's a problem, give you a dissertation. And I mean that respectfully, meaning that, that we need to uh, oversee or make sure that the coach is doing well or giving them support. Uh, when we talk about this particular coach at the start of wrestling season, if Rudy says he's money or she's money, then I just go on to the next coach for the next sport. And when you ask Rudy uh, at the start of every wrestling season, what about Wayne and May? Uh, he, he's money coach, we're good. The wrestling, there's no issues. Uh, wrestling's a little bit unique uh, in the UIL in the state of Texas. Most sports, are classified according to their building population, which to a certain extent wrestling and uh, lower classification soccer are, but because of availability of programs, oftentimes schools with lesser populations, such as the Colony, Argyle, uh, Byron Nelson, are thrown in with 5A schools. And our District 11 was made up of all of the LISD schools, 5A or 4A, Argyle Northwest, which is 5A, and Byron Nelson, which is 4A. Uh, at this time, I'd like Wayman May to come forward as the District 11 Coach of the Year. Coach May. In the last three years, the Colony Cougars wrestling team has placed in the top four in 16 tournaments. Of those 16 tournaments, they have won five of them. They've had five state qualifiers and one, uh, one competitor placed at the state meet. The Colony's dual record under Coach May is 33-12. and 12. Congratulations, Coach. And uh, I think that a couple of us are up here. And uh, 
It is a likeness Drinkwater even suspected when people were out spying on her marching band, because that's kind of a normal thing. This is without knowledge of the recipient. And then, of course, uh, the award is, is given. And it's really no surprise. And I'm going to turn it over to uh, the gentleman who uh, got Mrs. Ms. Drinkwater to go to Marcus High School. This is Dr. Rogers. Uh, first off, I just found out a few minutes before the board meeting that I was going to give the opportunity to talk, but when you have the opportunity to talk about someone, the quality of Amanda Drinkwater, you don't turn that down. You know, it's amazing when I go across the school district, we have incredible fine arts programs. We're going to have another one recognized right after this. Just amazing things that our kids and our, and our directors and sponsors are involved with. You know, about five and a half years ago, six, you know, Marcus Band, we, we went through a terrible uh, situation, band director, mid-year, leaving, having to find a new director, upcoming marching uh, contest coming in the fall. We made a great hire at Amanda Drinkwater. Uh, kids, uh, she connected immediately with the kids and the parents, parents, uh, in our fine arts programs are just incredible volunteers and we couldn't do it without the, the parent involvement. Amanda took her band first, first fall as the full time uh, marching uh, and they won the state. And now, five years later, they've won it three consecutive times. Uh, you know, what a great tribute to Amanda, the incredible work that she does with First students, parents, just an amazing person. And I, I just couldn't be more proud of being very small involvement with Amanda being part of Marcus High School. So congratulations. And at, at this time, if I could ask uh, Ernie Horn from uh, Storgo in the classroom to please come forward. Come to Bass Hall, your father got to come from Louisiana to the Dallas City. 
You have an incredible, near genius work ethic. Your students, your parents, you've changed history in a positive way. The one thing they learned from you was more than notes and marching procedures. They, they learned from you, you don't get a second chance to make a good first impression. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. this evening and I certainly appreciate the opportunity simply to express that I am so very fortunate as along with all my colleagues to serve in a district that values the athletics and the fine arts to the, degree, to, to the degree that it does. This has been an incredibly humbling experience and I truly do accept this on behalf of all of my colleagues in LISD uh, without whom none of this would be possible. Every um, orchestra teacher and elementary music teacher and choir teacher and theater teacher is a part of this. They they all uh, they all served this degree. It's incredibly humbling to be here. Thank you very very much.